My name is FC1 Abraham Wampa. I'm on board the USS McFall. And this is my story. So one day, um, early, kind of early in the morning, um, I'm walking around through one of my spaces. Uh, we're going through a little bit of an inspection, uh, nothing too crazy. So as I'm walking through the spaces, um, I noticed that there was uh, a couple of uh, exposed batteries uh, that was sitting out in one of the spaces. Um, at the same time, um, I'm walking through the space, I'm kind of looking at the uh, little peanut bulbs um, on one of the MBTs to make sure that everything was good to go with that. Uh, one of the bulbs was out, so I decided to replace that bulb. Um, this happened probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock time frame. Um, so after I replaced the peanut bulb, uh, I placed that peanut bulb inside my pocket. Uh, in the space that I was in, I also picked up the two exposed batteries. Uh, and that's where everything kind of went wrong. Um, on my side, I know that I shouldn't have put the two exposed batteries in my pocket, but uh, my thought process at the time was, uh, I'm just walking, I'm about seven feet. Um, so I placed the exposed batteries in my pocket. Uh, what I didn't realize or didn't think of was I placed those exposed batteries inside the same pocket that I had the peanut bulb in. Um, as I'm walking, uh, the two batteries ended up touching the peanut bulb at the same time. Um, the sound that I heard as I started walking, I heard a loud whine. Um, started looking around to try to figure out what it was. Um, before you know it, boom, explosion in my pocket. Um, at that time, uh, inside the space that I was in, uh, there's a little bit of a grating where you can actually sit down on. Uh, so I sat down on the grating, uh, started patting my leg to try to get the fire out. Um, the batteries fell out of my pocket. Um, they were both charred. Uh, and in between was the peanut bulb that was stuck to them. So uh, shortly after, um, one of the alarms had gone off up in the space. So by the time I had opened the door, um, I already had four or five people standing there asking me what, what happened. Um, so basically, uh, at that point in time, it was no longer about what had happened. My first instinct was go straight to medical. Um, and I did. Uh, my chief followed behind me at the time and uh, basically knocked on the door to medical, uh, showed them what was going on, um, and they immediately set me up to go to the ER. Um, they had somebody from the ship uh, take me over to Portsmouth Hospital um, where uh, that process was a little bit of a lengthy process uh, just to be seen. Um, from the time that I got there till uh, the time that I was actually checked out um, and had my medication uh, for the burns was roughly three and a half, four hours. Um, basically during that time frame, um, one of the doctors took a look at, at my leg uh, originally, their thought process was that I was going to end up having to get uh, possibly a skin graft done. Um, lo and behold, I ended up not having to get a skin graft, which was uh, good on my part. Uh, but I did end up with a burn from about my hip um, all the way down uh, to right below or right above my knee. Um, and it's about four or five inches wide. Uh, so. From that, uh, the process of being in the hospital, they had to scrape um, all the charred skin, um, take a look, make sure everything was bare, everything was cleaned, everything looked good. Um, the process, uh, as far as the recovery time, um, that was about five to six weeks. Um, so they put me on convalescent leave, which ended up not being too bad, um, just because of the fact that it healed um, a lot better than they expected it to. Um, my, my whole thing with it now is, uh, like I said, I knew better. Uh, I knew that I should have had those exposed batteries and some type of plastic casing, um, even if it's transporting it, even if it's transporting it to, um, you know, the as small as two steps, uh, because you never know what can happen. So uh, that's my story. 